Hey y'all, how are you? It is Friday, June 23rd, I believe. It's Friday. Friday for everybody but me. My Friday will be Monday. Uh, anyway, I wanted to jump on here a few minutes uh, because we are at almost 100 degrees and it's a little too be hot to be making a video, but I'm going to do it anyway. Got the window down because you won't be able to hear me over the air conditioning, so I'm going to do this pretty quick. Um, I did want to talk to you a little bit, see how your summer solstice was. Did you do something special for that? That was uh, June 21st. Also, did you see all the planets align this week? Did you go out and stargaze? If you did, let me know in the comments. Either thing. Did you do something fun for the summer solstice? And did you see the planets align? Uh, for summer solstice, I did go out and do something really fun. We went out to the orchards in our area. Um, I got a load of peaches and brought them home and made a big peach cobbler. Uh, also, they had sunflower fields that were beautiful and you could walk through there and take pictures if you wanted to. And they had zinnia fields where you could cut your own flowers. Uh, it was 50 cents a zinnia though. And you could cut the uh, sunflowers, $3 a sunflower. So uh, that was kind of fun. They did also make homemade peach ice cream out of the peaches from their field. You could get a small, it said small, it was like the small styrofoam coffee cup. Not only did they fill it to that, but then they doubled it up and, you know, made it way above it. <laughs> so that was five fifty for the small. A way, way more ice cream than he, it kind of made almost a pint when you looked at it. But fantastic. My mother went with me. She got the peach and I got the strawberry. The strawberries were the fresh strawberries from their field as well. So that was a fun experience. After that, we went to a thrift store that was owned by a church, I believe. Um, I'm pretty sure. Um, and they also had a food bank in there. And we did not go for the food bank at all. We went to look at some glassware. Uh, because I was looking for something particular to use for my oils. And I'm going to show you what I found. Uh, but I'm going to tell you why we were there. This very nice gentleman came up and spoke to us and said, We have an overabundance of onions and sweet potatoes. Would you please take some home with you? <laughs> so he gave us a bag of those. Those were free. Uh, we took those home, and I used the onions in the lentil soup that I made. Um, that was another thing I did for the summer solstice. I made uh, red lentil soup, like uh, from the area of country of where my dad is from. That is traditional there, so I made that to honor my ancestors uh, the red lentil soup so the onions go in it so I use those for those blessing all the way around anyway while I was there I did pick up uh, this cup I'm gonna use it to pour the oils it's got the little spout this is a fire king uh, they are vintage and guess how much I got it for sticker still in there one dollar yep so this is going in uh my shop to use for the oils when i pour them so super cool super excited about that i'm starting to sound like a real youtuber now everybody's always super excited about everything and i try not to say that because you know it drives me crazy <laughs> when everybody's super excited all the time but that was exciting find i also picked this up uh to store some oils in it was two dollars it has a really tight stopper in there so anyway two dollars it was a really good find there oh, the hot top is hard to get back on but i don't want to lose it anyway i think some of the oils with the herbs will look beautiful in there i can either use it and sell or i can use it to keep it in my house one of the two. So, speaking of oils, go to my Rose Hill Cottage page and you can see I'm fixing to uh, get a bunch of oils going and you'll be able to see them on there. And you can make purchases if you like or you could just watch what we're doing on there. But isn't that pretty? Two dollars. So, watch your thrift stores for things like that. Gas. I'm excited. 
not super excited, just a little excited. Uh, today when I went to get gas to come to work in East Texas in my area and all the way through on uh, my 45 to hour trip to work, gas was 459 instead of 480 that it's been. So it has come down some um, and all of a sudden and every store on my route was 459 and that's several stores just so you know. Anyway, I'm going to jump off here because it's starting to get a little hot. Uh, just wanted to touch base with y'all, see how everybody's doing. What is the gas price in your area? Is it dropping any or is it continuing to rise? I don't know if this is going to be a long-term dropping or if it's going to shoot right back up again, but I'm happy to see it this week. Not such a big bite out of my paycheck. It's still a big bite, but not as big as if it would have rose some more. So, let me know how things are. Uh, what did you do on the summer solstice, if anything? Is, do you have traditions? No. Did you just enjoy in the sun? Sunbathing out there, first day of summer. <laughs> uh, what are your gas prices? What's missing in the stores? What are you excited about? Are you super excited? Does that drive you crazy when people say that on YouTube? I'm so super excited. <laughs> they probably are super excited. Anyway, I'm just a little crazy right now. I'm headed off to work to deal with all the people. So I will see you in the next video. Hope you have a beautiful day and stay hydrated because we're at 100 degrees and hotter than the surface of the sun. Good day, y'all.